Hi folks, Brian Benz here, Cloud Advocate at Microsoft, welcoming you to another JDConf 2024 On Demand session. Uh, in this session, Lise Reyes uh, from OpenTide.com is going to talk about data privacy concerns and solutions uh, when running your large language models in production. A very timely topic. Uh, she covers uh, some real world examples, some technical issues and some legal issues. Check it out. Hi, welcome for joining us today. I will give you a high level overview of what to take into consideration with regards to data privacy and security when introducing LLMs into your business applications. Um, so what could possibly go wrong when we introduce LLMs into our enterprise applications? So these are some examples taken from the web. In this case, someone managed to convince a chatbot of a car dealer to promise him a car for $1 and to even get legally binding terms with it. Another example is that a lot of companies are sued for copyright. Often these are model providers, but sometimes also other companies that have used output from AI and LLM models that turned out to be actually copyrighted material. And then this is an example of prompt injection, where a user manages to craft the prompt in such a way that it can actually override the original instructions of the LLM. So to have a look how we can prevent this when we build our applications, let's first dive into the architecture of an LLM powered app. To be on the same page when it comes to terminology, we have the neural network, which is a kind of structure where you can send data through. The neural network itself is not smart. We first will train it with a big data set and then we obtain these weights to go from one node to another. This we call a model. And so model is basically a calculation machine where you send an input in and you get an output out. And then um, we wrap this up typically in a user interface and we serve this on a server so people can actually use the model. Now in Java, we have plenty of super nice frameworks to integrate LLMs into your applications. I myself am a collaborator of the Langchain 4J framework, so I'm totally biased here. But as you can see, there's a really a lot of options and they're getting better every day. So in a basic setup, we will have a user input that's processed by the LLM and results in an answer. But in an enterprise application, it will typically look more like that, where your LLM is served with a user interface on a server with more models inside talking to each other and getting access to your production database and maybe your customer data and even having access to tools like the ability to send emails to search the web or to even use your credit cards. And that results in a lot of potential security risks, of course. Um, so our user input may not always be benevolent and people may try to breach into the system via prompt injection and get access to your database. Hence, it's important to protect your database to only disclose what your user is allowed to see in a hard way and not let the LLM decide about that. And the same goes for your enterprise documents and your customer documents. Um, you will want to be careful with the tools and put some kind of human in the loop, like a final check by a human before emails get sent. You will want to be very careful with the terms of use of the model providers you may be using, that they are not using your input for training their models, for example, or to even sell it. And then when it comes to the answer, you want to be sure you are the owner of the answer, that you're allowed to actually use it commercially and also that you're not infringing somebody's copyright without knowing. So as you can see, there's a lot of ways to ruin your company if you're not careful. Um, so here are some tips to build actually a secure and compliant LLM powered application. So first, there's a very big influence of the setup. So the usual setup that people know is to go to a provider like OpenAI, but then you have to be really careful about their terms of use and their level of security. A step more secure is to go and turn a model in your private cloud with a VPN tunnel. And then the most secure option, which is um, recommended for regulated environments, is to turn a model on-premise and to buy the hardware that can turn it. So what does the law say? Recently, the European Union has approved the Artificial Intelligence Act, which categorizes AI applications into four categories. Unacceptable risk, you're not allowed to do it. High risk, you have to go to a conformity assessment depicted on the right here. Limited risk category, you just have to mention that it is uh, produced by AI and minimal risk is highlights. Okay. So to 
get it all together, um, you will want to check what your user can input um, and what your user may input. Then inside of your tool, you will really want to put strict database and document access restrictions and some hard checks before allowing the LLM to do too many things. And then you want to be sure that your answer can actually be used for what you wanted to use it and that you're not infringing anybody's copyright. So that was a very big and important topic squeezed into five minutes. There's so much more to know and there's so much more I would like to tell you. So if you want to dive deeper, feel free to go have a look at my other talks online or reach out to me at OpenTide. And most of all, have fun developing the applications of the future. Thanks for watching. Check out this and more at jdconf.com.